Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take three photos from a vertical panorama that I shot, process them in Luminar 2018, then we're going to export those photos as 16-bit TIFF files. We're going to import those into Affinity Photo and use the panorama mode, have Affinity Photo stitch those together, export them back out as 16-bit TIFF, then we'll bring the panorama back into Luminar 2018, do some final touch-up and tweaks, and then export it as a JPEG for use. So these are the filters on the right-hand side here that I'm going to use for this. I'm not going to take you through every step, but I'm going to take you through some of it just to show you the approach that I use. Since I shot this with a DJI drone, I'm going to start with LUT mapping. And I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to choose my DJI log to Rec 709 X7 LUT. And let's see how that works for us. Well, and that looks like a good starting place. I'm going to use that as a beginning. Next, I'm going to come up to Raw Develop. I'm going to come over to Lens. I'm going to turn on the auto correction and then come back to adjust. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust the white balance. I'm going to bring this to about there, and I'm going to use that as my white balance. Next, I'm going to back the exposure off just a little bit. And while I'm showing you this is sort of a linear process, it's really a process of moving back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to bring the highlights down, shadows, I'm going to kick up to there, whites, I'm going to bring down back those off, and blacks, I'm going to back those down a little bit as well. Down in tone, I'm going to back the exposure off just a hair. Up there, I'm going to add a little bit of contrast. I'm going to play with my spark tone and bring that up. And it's starting to take shape. In tone, I'm going to back the whites off. And again, you play with this moving back and forth. Let's take a look at what our accent filter does. Let's kick that up a bit. Then let's take a look at curves. Now let's go to the advanced contrast, back about there. Now let's take a look at our saturation. Now we've got a basic look and feel for the top image. And I want to save these settings, even though I'm going to tweak them a bit. I want to be able to apply the exact same settings to the middle and bottom images as a starting place. So to do that, I'm going to come to the bottom right and click on Save Filter Preset. And I'm going to call this Vertical Pano Top. Now to see that, I'm going to go up here and click on the little Preset Panel button. And that's going to show it in the bottom of the screen. I'm going to open up the next image in this process and to do that I'm going to come here and we'll open up 8 which is our middle. So I just opened the middle image of the three photos that make up the vertical panorama. Now as a starting place I'm going to come down here to this when I use a preset vertical pan on top and click on it and so this is a little too punchy for me. You could also say we'll only apply about that much of it to this. That certainly is a good starting point. We could then come over here and fine tune this. At this point though, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as it is with that minor tweak of uh, just applying 91% of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and open another so this is going to be the bottom. And once again, once that opens, I'm going to click on the preset that I saved. I need to reduce this down just a little bit and see how that works. So again, you can come over here on the right and fine tune this to your heart's content. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save these. Let's go back to our middle image. We'll do a file, save, and we're going to call this vertical pano middle. 
save, switch to the bottom, and we'll do a file save. We'll call this vertical bottom, and I'm replacing ones that I had already explored with these new ones. So now we've got names. So let's go back to the top. Let's go ahead and file export. And I'm going to just call it vertical pano top, but not JPEG, but as a TIFF. And I want 16 bits. I've created a folder for this. Vertical pano demo. I'm going to save that one in there. While that is processing, I'm going to the next one, the middle. I'm going to do the same thing. And again, we're saving it as a TIFF. And we're going to put this into here. Save. And while that's processing in the background, I'm going to click on the window and I'm going to go to the bottom. Do the same thing. Go to my folder and save that in there. So now I'm going to quit Luminar. We're going to start up Affinity Photo. In Affinity Photo, I'm going to go to File, New Panorama, and click on the Add button. I'm going to go to my desktop, find that folder, and I'm going to select all three of these. Then I'm going to click on the Stitch Panorama button. Click OK. And it's done its very best to stitch this all together for us. And it's pretty well balanced. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the crop tool. And I'm going to just kind of come in and not be fancy with this, but just keep it real straightforward. And then click on apply. And there it is. Now I'm going to go up to file, export. I'm going to save this as a 16-bit TIFF as well. I'm going to export it. Put that on my desktop in that folder. And I'm going to call this I call Pano Final. I'm going to close out of here. I'm not going to save that. I'm going to go back into Luminar, and I'm going to find my the folder on my desktop. Find Vertical Pano Final, open it, and there's our image. And with a panorama, I'm always looking at the edges to make sure that I cropped it properly. I'm going to go back to my my DJI RAW and more, and play with this a little bit just to see. This is a TIFF, so I've got the ability to do some interesting stuff with it. Even, the, even if it's not RAW, I'm sure it lets out a little bit of vibrance, just a touch. And Advanced contrast. Now I'm going to go back up to File, Export. And I'm going to export this as not a TIFF, but as a JPEG. High quality. Put it back in that folder. And there's our finished vertical panorama. I hope this has been helpful. Get out there and try it yourself. Fly safe and have fun.